Ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between, it is currently 1.45 in the morning, and I, I think I'm getting my flow back, because I've never been so, so, like, passionate to uh, uh, record this uh, video, bro. But today, no intro, no nothing, what kind of intro? But today, we are doing a video on if uh, Edward Cullen from Twilight, is he a Gary Stu, or is it just write, bad writing? But, right off the bat, bro, it's, it's both, it's both, bro, it's both. And you want to know why? Let me tell you why. Okay. So Gary Stews or Mary Stews, you know, usually like they have no flaws or perfect or whatever. And you might say, oh, Edward has some flaws. So does Bella. Bella's a suicidal dumb bitch. And I'm not saying being suicidal is dumb. If you're suicidal, there, there's health resources. There, there, there's, there, we, we can help. There's help, okay? There's hotlines. We want you here. We love you. But Bella, she can fucking die for all I care. Because Edward is literally, he gets a pass because he's hot, okay? He gets a, he's literally, he's a creep. And he's high key abusive, bruh. And be like, hmm, abusive. You just y'all be just throwing that word around. Nah, bruh. Edward is weird, okay? One, he watches Bella sleep, okay? Watches Bella sleep. He's like, I don't like watching you sleep. It's fascinating. And then here come uh Bella draws all type of wet cause she find that fine as fuck. What? That's weird. And Edward, he, like, he has no personality. He only has personality when the plot calls for it. But even then, being mysterious is not a personality trait. You can be mysterious, but you gotta have a little more shit to you, bruh. You can just be like, oh, I'm not emo and mysterious, and I'm hot, so you love me, right? No, because you're weird, okay? Edward, he literally, he gaslights the fuck out of Bella multiple times in, in that shit, okay? Gaslights her literally goes to off himself because he can't be with Bella, isolates her from her friends, her family, literally isolated her from her father. When her father's trying to check in on her, like, yo, are you good? And Edward's like, mm, get the fuck back. And then here come Bella, like, huh, no, I'm fine. And here come Bella, she all cool with it because she's stupid, bruh. Because I already did a video on her if she's a Mary Sue, and she is. And, and Edward, he he's equivalent, bruh, because I don't understand... Well, I do understand, because people just, he gets away with being weird because he's fine. But he's not even that fine. I'm sorry, bruh. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's weird, bruh. He, he's abusive. He, he's a creep. You can't, I'm not gonna say pedophile, because, you know, any vampire ex, you know, reader shit or whatever, vampires are usually very old as fuck, bruh. But it doesn't make any sense, because in one of the movies, don't give me the line, I don't remember one of the movies, but... Bella, she gets a cut from opening presents. Jasper, he smells the blood. He's like, mm, let me get some of that shit. And then Edward flings Bella across the room. And then people are like, oh, he just didn't, you know, he doesn't remember his own strength. You have been a vampire for who knows how to fuck long. And you don't remember that you, you strong as fuck and you just flung your bitch across the room? What? And li literally, the whole story between Edward and Bella is just Edward being a bitch. They're both being bitches. They're both stupid, and it's Edward like, oh, you don't love me? Fuck you. But then when he actually decides, he just, he isolates her from everybody. He gaslights her. He's like, oh, if you don't love me, blah, 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 blah. Or I love you, Bella. I just, your aroma. Da, da, da. You're weird, okay? I also wanted to add one more thing. He, he proposed to her knowing damn well she wasn't ready to get fucking proposed to. Okay, that's fucking weird. He 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 knew he 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 uh read people's minds around her to see how she was feeling and what she was thinking since he couldn't read he he couldn't read her mind. It's fucking weird. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. He gets away with it because this fucking movie relies on a bunch of fucking boners and everyone creaming their pants over Edward or be like wishing that they were Bella and and, and all like all like ah, it's stupid. I don't know where I'm placing it, but yeah, what, whatever. He's just, he's fucking, he's fucking dumb. Holy shit. If I walk into a classroom and I hear you, I see you go. <laughs> I'm calling the authorities and I'm clutching my purse because what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. What, what are you doing? <laughs> he's weird, bruh. He's weird. Like, I don't, he... He does, he's not, he's not, a, oh, he's not a good person. He's not even interesting. The only reason why he's interesting is because when you really, when you think deep, deep, deep about it, he's a weirdo, bruh. He's weird. This video might not be long, but you might not even make any fucking sense. But Edward, he just, he, his character is just bad. And it's bad 
I'm repeating myself, I know, but it's just his whole his whole plot I'm not editing this video, it's just me rambling. But his whole plot is one being iffy and shit if he wants Bella. And then when Bella starts messing with Jacob, he starts getting all jealous and shit and starts isolating her from everybody. He and he just he just pulls all this shit. Cause he knows he has Bella wrapped around his finger because Bella's stupid. She's so dumb. Like it's 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 ridiculous how dumb she is. The amount of times Bella has gotten hurt for this dude, almost died for this dude when she went cross eyed and I'd be like, that was weird. <laughs> but yeah, but it it's just Edward, he's a Gary Stu because of the bad writing. Cause yeah, he has his flaws, he has he has his shit or whatever. Whatever. We all got our shit, bruh. But it is not enough for it to validate you not being a Gary Stook. I'm not going to say he's like all the way a Gary Stook. But he's there a little bit. And it's because bad writing, bruh. Because literally Twilight is just a fucking fanfic, bruh. It's a reader ex vampire with all abuse shit. Because if you read any fanfic, there's a lot of like toxic shit. And it's. It, and it passes because they're described, the person that is doing it is described as fine, and they're like, mm, <laughs> I'll let them do that to me. No. Because you're watching it, and like, oh, I would love, I would love uh, if, a, if I had, like, a vampire dude who did this to me. No, you wouldn't. You controlling everything, freaking out when you talk to her about isolating you from your family. Bruh, what? You don't, you don't want that. And the only reason why you want it is because... He's fine, and that's it, bruh. Literally, Edward's whole personality is that I'm a sexy vampire. Who's emo? And I'm gonna gaslight the fuck out of you, isolate you from your family, kind of abuse you, and we're gonna get married, and um, you're gonna, almost gonna die having my baby. <laughs> because I'm Edward. <laughs> bruh, what? <laughs> like, what, bruh? What do you, what do you want right now? Like... What? <laughs> I just, I don't, I'm not understanding the appeal. You're telling me a dude who stalks me, watches me in my sleep, is about 400 years old. <laughs> maybe, maybe older. I don't remember. I know his age was probably said, but I don't really remember how old it is. And then, like, the joke, I think it was the first movie, when it was all the graduation caps, like, it's kind of like an inside joke, because, you know, we don't age. Bella, you found that funny as fuck. Sure, I can got it go. I, I, you you probably older than my whole family line, bro. <laughs> all all generations, you probably old older than all of them. And that's weird, bro. You're probably older than my father. It's weird. I know he's a vampire, bro. I don't. I, I just. I personally, for me, I've never understood the vampire appeal. I couldn't. Mm, someone bite into my shit. Step the fuck back. If you bite me, it better be some other shit. I don't want no blood drawn, bro. I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not into that, bro. I'm not. But yeah, it's just I. I know I keep repeating myself. I'm kind of trying to drag it out to ten minutes. It might not even be ten minutes, but just Edward. He's he's just he's so weird. <laughs> He's so, so weird, and he gets away with it because he's fine. This video has no point. It's just, I just want to talk about it. Because there, I don't, because people be get, on, get on my ass, because I know I do a lot of Mary Sue videos, and so they're like, uh, you say this about this character, but you don't say it about, uh, uh like, the male. It's because usually the male is usually equivalent. I just don't feel like <laughs> doing it. <laughs> but Edward... He's, he's just, he's a weird character, man. And I, Jacob, I don't even know if I can say that he's a Gary Stu. He's just, he's fucking boring. <laughs> Jacob is boring, bruh. He's mad because he can't get Bella. Bruh, get the fuck over it. Get you a new bitch. You don't want Bella, okay? Bella is the Lulu. She is crazy. She, she, she got, she got a lot going on in the noggin, okay? She got a lot. And you don't want to mess with that. You don't. That's why Edward and her, like, I guess they made for each other. But the only reason why this whole relationship happened is because Bella does not know how to think for herself. <laughs> and she's stupid and she's delusional. And, 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 and Edward, he's a good manipulator. 
He's like, I love you, Bella. Your aroma, I can't read your mind, so it intrigues me. So I watch you in your sleep, and I go, I'll go to off myself. So you run all the way to like some fucking foreign country. <laughs> that I look, all the Twilight movies they just blur in my head, and I don't really know what's going on. I think I skipped the movie because I'm like, what the fuck am I watching right now? But I, I specifically remember Edward going like about to go, you know, take his robe off and die because he couldn't be around the pillar or some shit. I don't which is kind of a form of, you know, manipulation. Because, like, if you don't love me, I'm going to kill myself. Okay. <laughs> Good luck to you, then. The fuck? <laughs> You're not going to make me stick around by saying that, bitch. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Hope you get help, bro. I'm like, what? But, yeah, Edward, he's just, he's, he's, he's abusive. He's a manipulator. He's he's a creep. He and we're gonna say like I guess mentally abusive, like mental and emotional, because he be Bella be going through the ringer. But at the same time, I have no I feel nothing for Bella because Bella's stupid, okay? There were so many times she could have gotten out of that shit. Let that man kill himself. <laughs> well, let it happen. And you could have been fine, bruh. Get with Jacob. I don't care. Team Edward or Jacob, I I neither. <laughs> I don't know but yeah edward he's emotionally abusive he he's a creep and and the only reason why he gets away with it is because he's attractive and this is in a lot of media and stuff there's a character who has a lot of abusive traits or a lot of toxic traits and they get away with it because they're attractive so keep your eyes peeled notice the signs Red flags are red flags. You can't fix them. You cannot fix them. You can't. Okay? Okay? <laughs> you cannot fix them. But yeah, that's it. So I guess, is Edward a Gary Stu, Mary Sue? Yeah, it's because they're writing shit too. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, That was it. This video is kind of all over the place. This is probably going to come out like the day I'm recording. It. Today's Friday, so it's going to come out on Friday. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I bet you have more reasoning than me because you might actually enjoy these. Not enjoy these movies, but you remember them better than me because when I watched them, it felt like I smoked like a really big blunt. But it had some weird shit in it. Okay. <laughs> That's what it felt like watching. Like I felt like it was like a blunt mixed with like fucking acid. <laughs> That's That's what it felt like. Okay. But yeah, Edward, he's weird. He's a creep over here i like watching you sleep it's fascinating creeping into her room yo you're weird and that's not hot that's not fine bro i don't care if you're a vampire get the fuck out of my room <laughs> but yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it i'll probably do a better video like this but i just want to I'm, I'm getting my groove back i'm getting my flow back a little bit but yeah hope you enjoyed the video probably when this video comes out i might be live so if you watch it while i'm live while i'm live you know join the live stream bro but yeah bunches here bunches there bunches everywhere my name is lady dad sec this was are they a mary sue and i will see you sometime soon later